Hey everyone, hope everyone's having a good day. I'm going to be making a video today. The sole purpose of this is actually to try and open some minds and give everyone something to tinker with over the next couple weeks as I will be going AFK. Um, I'll be around if anyone still needs us for support or anything like that and just support at Auto View with Pink. However, I may not be very active in the Slack channels or answering private messages. So that being said, what we are going to be doing today is creating a market maker bot for altcoins. Um, we're not going to be using a strategy. We're not going to be using PineScript. We're solely going to be using TradingView for its alerts. And we're going to be using the syntax to monitor and monitor our balances and essentially help provide liquidity. This will work for any coin. It works best if it's a coin that you're going to be on long term. A little patience. I know recently a lot of people have been bringing up Gunbot. Um, Trader Daddy was a big one for the market maker stuff. Gunbot, Gunbot leaves a lot of bag holders. This can potentially do that. However, it is, well, you'll see when I show you the trade history. If you wait it out and let it continue to play, you will eventually see green and you would be able to walk away with profit. And that being said, all you really need to start is a blank chart. And everyone knows my baby pink coin. I've uh, been with pink coin for years and will be with years or many, many years to come. So I've got blank everything. I got no alerts. I've got no strategies. I've got nothing. We're just sitting on a one minute pink coin chart. This is going to monitor every single time that there's a little action in pink. It's going to check our balances and decide what it's going to do. All we're going to do, I call this a, the landmine bot. So all we're going to do is create some landmines. Okay, so I got some landmine examples here. So you're just going to, we got, yeah, Bittrex and Polo if you wanted to do both. We're going to lay out some landmines, in this case 50 pink, and we're going to put a 50 pink order down 1%, down 2%, down 3%, down 4%. And so on so on you can go more you can do less you can change these percentages to whatever you want these are the statistics and the numbers that I actually ran to have the trade history to go with I did not do it on Bittrex I only ran it on Poloniex however if you wanted to run both it would be the same thing all you're doing is changing the exchange um, you can also do this with cells a quick way to change when your syntax gets pretty big quick way to change from buys to sells Let's use the find and replace option just replace all the cells and we also need to right now because it's a buy we're putting it down in the books we don't want to go down in the books anymore so we're just going to get rid of that negative and now you got your your cell landmines so all you do this is essentially a one-time fire alert so you drop it in your syntax and so you create your alert now, I'm not actually going to run these alerts, but you take the price greater than, in this case, we're just going to go greater than one Satoshi. Make sure it fires. It's fired just once. We don't want to pop up sound. Drop your syntax in there and fire it. What this will do is it'll put all these cells in the books, and that's it. Once your cells are in the books, now what we do you might have some leftover balance the first thing to do is, is clear your balance you want zero balance so the next thing you do you go and you check in whatever's left over just put it up as a cell you know at, at one bitcoin per or if it's a you're putting a buy landmines you want to get rid of your excess bitcoin balance you just put it for a buy down at one satoshi something that'll never get hit and once these orders are in place and you've got a zero balance right, what you need to do is create the alerts that are going to monitor your balance for you so we'll go to the monitor code and this is it you're going to want to create four alerts one for if you're doing bitrex if you're not doing bitrex you just need one for the buy and one for the sell on polo and what this is going to do is as soon as there's some market movement it's going to check to see if you have a balance if you do it's going to take that balance and place it appropriately you can change this again five percent four percent three percent ten percent whatever you want to flip in my case i was using minus three percent so as soon as there was some market movement right any of these if i was in any of these candles and has some things filled as soon as the alert triggered 
it would see that I now have the opposite in for balance and it would place it down below. So if it came up and filled a bunch of my cells, it would just turn around and put my buys down here. If it were to dump and dump through some of my buys, it would turn around and put my cells up here. And it just ensures that you're always in the market. And like I said, this can be a long-term thing if it just keeps going down and down and down and down. You keep laying landmines, landmines, landmines. You will be flipping the whole time. At first, it might seem you're like you're at a loss. But uh, it's just a matter of time before you average down and, again, you are back in the green. So I hope that makes sense. Again, you lay your landmines as often as you want. You kind of want to try and be in the range as often as you can. Because of the one minute alerts, sometimes they'll group up. That's why I like to start with just 1% spread and then spread them out afterwards. If it pumps through, you know, six, seven year orders and it's down 7%, it is going to put that up 3%. So it's depending on the average. Every now and then you might get a loss on an order, but I'm going to say probably 90% plus are, are profitable flips. You will end up with buys down in the books, sells in the books. So we will go now to some trade history. Now, like I said, I ran this for the month of September. And you can see a bunch of orders. Um, here's an example. We sold 9,600 pink at 633. We bought them back at 614. Okay, so exactly zero Bitcoin in out. So we've actually accumulated here about 270 pink just in that one little order there. You could go through the books. You could go through your trade history and pretty much match up everything. Um, if we go down to the bottom, we can see we started with a 677 sell of 6600, and then we bought them back for an extra 160 coins, and then we turned around again and sold that you know, up about two to three percent. You can see the profit here on the Bitcoin, and it just keeps going and going, flipping back and forth. You can see the buys here, 630 to 660, and then some sells 655, some buys 633, sells all the way up to 727. Okay, so here we can see individual 1,000 coin flips. So the 727 was probably the first one bought back for 34 extra coins. 725 is probably this one for 32 extra coins. Right, so... Pink coin is a coin that I've, like I said, I've, everyone knows I've been on this a long time, so I had a decent little balance to tinker with and test this with. If we look at the full month, we will see that I accumulated about 16,000 pink and up about 0.1 Bitcoin. The order size I started with was around 1,000 pink. The order size minimum, I believe, is around 30 pink right now. So you're definitely not limited to anything. Um, of course, this is going to fill the books. The more people that run it, the thicker the books are going to get. So as long as no one's greedy, um, multiple people should be able to run this on the same coin. It doesn't actually make any market orders. So all you're doing is sitting in the books waiting for something to happen. As soon as it does, the bot will recognize your balances and place them appropriately. I'm sure there's going to be different settings that are going to work different for different coins. However... I believe there's enough information here to show you that this is a keep it simple stupid money making system. It works on all coins. I've only tested it and with the proof here you can see I've only tested it on pink. Ran it for a month. Um, I'm assuming it would work with other coins as long as you are dedicated to that coin. You believe it's going to be around for a while and essentially you get in there. You help create volume. Um, you're essentially accumulating. You're accumulating on both ends. When it goes up, you're just converting to Bitcoin. When it goes down, you're buying back and converting back to that coin. There are points where you're holding a lot more than you've sold. There's points where you've sold more than you've held. And the longer you do this, the, the more that you make, the more coins you accumulate, the more coins that you sell. Orders, as you can see, starting with a 1,000, they do get grouped up. They start to get a little larger. You know, if someone just nibbles at you, as even just a nibble of 150 coins or 30 coins, as soon as that nipple's noticed by the system, which is once every minute, then it's going to flip those, and your orders are, are all over the place. You're hidden, depending on how you do it. You can you can definitely hide more. You can use ranges. You don't have to start with thousand coins, thirty coins. You can start with thirty to forty. Um, as everyone knows, out of view, there's all kinds of customization. But we will go back. This is the exact system that I run, ex that I ran, excluding Bittrex. 
Okay, so we were just on Polo. So we were flipping for 3% and we laid out. I, I believe I did my landmines for the first next 15% up and down. I want to say I tried 25 and Polo yelled at me for sending too many requests. I think please don't send more than 6 requests per second or whatever it was. Um, the, the biggest trick is starting off with your initials, your, your, lay your landmines, clear your balances, and then turn on your monitors. Anytime you want to add more balances or lay more landmines, you need to turn off the monitor alerts, free up the balance that you had hidden or put away, place your landmines, and then repeat again. You want to hide your balance again, turn on a monitor, and go. Turn off the monitor, make your balance available, lay your landmines, turn on the monitor scripts. Um, this was a little longer than I wanted to be. I probably went off topic a couple times. How uh, I'm going to go over it. I know I've summarized a couple times. I'm going to summarize it one last time. You're going to lay your landmines. Right now I'm showing sells, but you're going to want to lay buys and sells. If you just want to start just buy because you don't have this coin yet, that's fine. You just lay your buy landmines. As soon as those buys get hit, it's going to flip them as sells, and then you're in the game. So you're going to lay your landmines. Zero out your balance by hiding it somewhere else in the books. Turn on your monitor scripts. Anytime you want to lay land, more landmines, you're going to turn off your monitor script or your monitor alerts. You're going to lay your landmines, and then you're going to turn your scripts back on after you hit your balance. I hope this helps. I hope people like it. Um, again, this is a whole different branch of auto view that most people have not even explored because it's just syntax. There's nothing other than the alerts. You can do a lot with this. You can you can play with the numbers all you want. If anyone does have any specific questions, there are probably going to be people in AutoView Slack that will be able to help. And if anyone has actually any issues over the next few weeks, please don't hesitate to send us an email at support. I will be monitoring them. Um, my goal is always within 24 hours to respond. However, it may be a little delayed over the next few weeks. So have fun enjoy this i'm gonna can't wait to hear how people make out with it